just a uh, reaction to the to the fine? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to get into details of, of everything, but I mean, you know, just obviously not proud of uh, what I did there, and just want to apologize to to our organization for you know embarrassing the organization, uh, Bruins organization. Also want to apologize to our fans and also apologize to the Montreal Canadiens organization and to the Canadiens fans. I know, you know, they can get under your skin sometime, but, you know, they are great fans. So, I mean, just, uh, like I said, apologies for my actions and I regret what I did. And uh, that's really all I have to say about that. You're an emotional person. Is it tough sometimes to control that in, in a setting of that nature? Yeah, it is. It, that's why I said, you know, it's uh, the crowd can, the Montreal crowd can get under your skin sometimes. But like I said, also they are they are great fans, and they they're what make you know the game fun, and the, you know it's what makes it great to be an athlete and a, and, and a hockey player is to play in a, a atmosphere like that and in a rivalry like that. And um, you know, I just got to do a better job of, of controlling my emotions. So. Um, Hopefully this will, you know, be the last time that, you know, we're talking about, you know, controlling my emotions, not letting, not letting them get, get out of control. So uh, uh, another lesson learned. Disappointing too. Disappointing too because that was a pretty good game for you. You actually on the ice played a real good game, and then that at the very end, it kind of, you know, takes away from it a little bit. Yeah, I think it takes away from, um, from everything. You know, from. From uh, from the way that I played, and I mean, you know, I got hit on the first shift, and I kept my cool. I, you know, I just went, just went about playing my game, and uh, you know, I, I was able to accomplish getting my 300 point, and it kind of took away from that as well. And it, I think, it took away from the way our team played and and how you know competitive, you know, that competitive level we were able to raise in our game, and you know. That's why I said it was kind of a you know selfish act that you know it takes away from all the positives out of that game. So um, so I you know in saying all this you know that's why you try not to focus on on that too too much and and kind of focus on keeping it rolling from from how I play it on a on a personal standpoint. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, the penalty call. I think that's obviously what what drove me over the edge, and you know, just going to the box and and seeing everyone. It's just, like I said, it's just, it's it's unexcusable uh, the way I acted. But I think, you know, it, it was the the call that was made because I felt like it did take away, well, it did take away our opportunity of, of tying the game up. Knowing what had happened the first time you guys faced Vancouver after that series, was there a conscious effort sort of not to have a game like that against Montreal, like as a team? Well, I think we did a really good job of keeping our cool all the way until that at the end of the game. So, like I said, it's unfortunate that my actions took away from you know all the things that we did and, and keeping our cool and just playing a, you know playing a good game a competitive game obviously you know there's a lot of things in the D zone that we need to get better and not allow as many goals as we did but you know scoring four goals and in, in the bell center and all that type of stuff so uh, for 18 minutes and 20 seconds or sorry 58 minutes and 20 seconds, we, we, we were able to kept, keep our cool and, and play the game that we wanted to keep play. So I think for us, the focus should be on that more than anything else and and not worry about, you know, the, that distraction part. So we can, you know, try to bring that that part of our game to to Buffalo here tonight. Two more for Luke. Was it a good call? Or do you think you've got a clean head? No, I, I, I disagree. I, I, I disagree with the call 100%. I mean, when a guy turns at the last second, it becomes... We even get video shown to us, you know, at the start of the year that it's it's on the hit e, the guy getting hit when you turn on the last second. So 
I mean, I, I still disagree with the hit, and yeah. Does it bother some too with the, with a guy like Emlyn that is a, a big hitter too, and a guy that relies on people to sort of you know stand there and take the hit as well that he he plays that game. It's like he's you know trying to play both sides of the coin. Yeah, it is. It, it is bothersome, uh, especially. I know how how I take hits. You know, I don't turn and all that type of stuff. I mean. I don't want to comment too much on other players and other teams and all that other type of stuff. But as far as uh, as far as your question goes, it is a little uh, bothersome. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry, guys. We're done. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you very much.